Looping back to the issue of babies and developmental milestones, and particularly with regard to premature babies. It said that premature babies reach milestones later in accordance with how premature they were. Of course, this all varies tremendously based on your baby. What I've been doing with Bracy is, I sort of have these milestones in the back of my head, but he's not doing them, as I mentioned earlier. Bracy is not raising up his head, he's not able to do tummy time, he's not smiling, he's not reaching for things, um, he doesn't have purposeful gestures. None of these things are happening with Bracy. But you know what? I am actually not stressed about it. I am savoring every minute of the experience I have with Bracy, and I consider it to be so special and so unique because as much as though nobody would wish to have a premature baby because of all the dangers involved, it's actually in its own way a super beautiful thing. You had all these extra weeks of bonding with your baby. You saw your baby go through all these developmental phases that people don't see when they have a full-term baby. And now having him home, I'm seeing how hard he's fighting and how much he's growing, and it's just amazing. So I have the developmental milestones in the back of my mind, and at some point, I will have a conversation with my doctor about them, but I'm not allowing them to stress me out, to make me feel bad, or to make me feel as if somehow my baby doesn't measure up, because I know that on his own schedule and in his own time, my baby will get to where he's meant to be, and so will yours. Music